Okay, so I came across this article here about, um, it was in the Hindustan Times, uh, I think it's, it's everywhere at the moment, uh, Facebook apologizes after AI feature mistakenly labels black men as primates. <laughs> and I had to, had to have a bit of a laugh because like, hang on a minute, that's assuming that uh, AI can be racist, which I don't think uh, has the capability of being racist. Uh, it's got facial recognition software used by Facebook and others has been blasted by civil rights advocates who pointed out problems of accuracy, particularly uh, it comes to people who are not white. <laughs> it's the old, it's the old uh, adage here. Uh, everything, everything's racist apparently. Um, now they they do they do have trouble uh, with uh, with darker skin, with contrast, and that sort of thing. When when they're picking out objects, and uh, you know, that's, I've heard this in, with AI, but um, I don't think this is the case in this in this uh, example that we've got here. Um, so so here we go. So the AI tool has put social media giant Facebook in trouble after identified black men being shown in the video as primates. Facebook has apologized and disabled the tool and has also launched an investigation. So, you know, you can see the see the theme coming up here. Uh, the issue surfaced when some users were watching video from a British tabloid featuring black men. These users soon received an automatic prompt from Facebook asking if they would like to keep seeing videos about primates. <laughs> it's like, now I, I know how the AI would be thinking. The AI is thinking, his uh, you know some humans wants to keep keep uh, the algorithm wants to keep you watching things. So it broadened it broadened the uh, scope to primates. That, that's all that happened. That's really all that happened here. But of course, yeah, it's got to be a racial issue, doesn't it? So there we go. So the video date uh, June twenty seventh, two thousand twenty, from Daily Mail. It showed an altercation between black men and white police officers. And here we go. They even admit it. While humans are among the many species in the primate family, the video had nothing to do with monkeys, chimpanzees, or gorillas. No, it had to do with humans, and they're part of the primate family. AI was just being very broad. Okay, so this is this is the crux of the problem right here. The AI was being a little bit too broad here and came up with the word primates. And they just jumped on it, didn't they? The lefty snowflakes jumped on it. So we've got Darcy Groves here. Um, this keep seeing prompt is unacceptable at Facebook. And despite the video being more than a year old, a friend got this prompt yesterday. Friends at Facebook, please escalate. This is agrarious. Well, actually, agrarious can mean... Um, totally unacceptable or could mean like really cool <laughs> so i wouldn't be using the word agrarious and i pointed i pointed this out to darcy and little darcy darcy got a bit triggered and she blocked me but i don't think it was i don't think it was a comment about agrarious i think it was the fact that i pointed out an article that basically from the australian museum that said uh humans are primates we're all primates so i've, I've got i've got some examples here here we go. So we got um, we got me. I'm a primate. We got my little my little gorilla. I love this little gorilla. He's so cheeky. One of my plush toys. He's a primate. I think it's a he. It's holding a banana. Um, and we got we got Darcy. I've got a good example of Darcy the snowflake. Now Darcy the snowflake is one of these. And uh, in Australia we call them uh, muppets. Darcy is a Muppet. This is Gonzo and from the family of Muppets. The Muppets. So that's Darcy right there. There's Darcy. Um, there's me. There's me. And also the people in the video, they're all primates. So we've got primates and Muppets. And the Muppets always like to complain about uh, PC things. So um, we'll put little Darcy away here. So I hope, I hope that makes things clear. We've got Darcy the Muppet and Walrus Rider and everyone else in the world are primates. So let's have a look at what makes a primate. Let's let's get a bit of education going here so we don't we don't get all confused and triggered by these things. Okay, humans are members of a particular subgroup of mammals known as the primates or order of the primates. Primate diversity. Oh, I even mentioned the word diversity. The left should be really happy with this. 
The first primates appeared more than 60 million years ago, many different types. Uh, so we've got uh, about 350 different species of living primates. Almost all of today's primates live in tropical and subtropical areas of Africa, Madagascar, Asia, Central America, and South America. They include lemurs, lorises, monkeys, apes, they're all primates. So primate features, this, this is why humans are primates. So we've got the primate features here. Primates, including humans, notice that, including humans, are different to all animals because they are the only mammals that have the following combination of features. Relatively large, complex brain. So how is this derogatory? We're saying that a black man has a relatively large, complex brain, because this is what they're being offended by. That this is a derogatory term, primate. I wasn't triggered by primate. I know I'm a primate. Black men are primate. Black women are primate. White women are primate. White men are primate. Asian men are primate. Asian women are primates. We're all blooming primates. Forward-facing eyes, as opposed to like birds, got the eyes on the side, with overlapping, overlapping views, uh, overlapping fields of view to allow depth of perception. So this is great for hunting. Uh, eye sockets with a ring or cup of bone surrounding and supporting the eyes. Grasping hands with long fingers to curl around objects. Opposable thumbs. You get all the opposable thumbs. Everyone knows about that. The opposable thumbs. And or big toes able to touch the other digits on the same hand or foot. <laughs> there we go. Flat nails rather than claws or some fingers and toes. Sensitive pads. Under the tips of fingers and toes containing special touch receptors called Meissner corpsicles, Meissner. And it's the same Meissner that does the classification of the astronomical objects. Okay, uh, a well-developed collarbone, a clavicle, which uh, cyclists tend to uh, know uh, tends to break when you fall off the bike and you put your put your arm down. Uh, two nipples, but sometimes more. <laughs> the third nipple <laughs> on the chest in females who supply milk to the young. Penis and testes that permanently hang down from the body in males. Good thing they put in males. Well, actually, they'll probably trigger the people that are in transition. Uh, long childhood that extends well beyond, beyond weaning. And uh, a lot of the Muppets probably tend to stay at home for their entire lives because they cannot handle the real world. Primates, there we go. So that is, uh, I put this up on... Little Darcy's, poor Darcy, Darcy couldn't handle it. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, in line with her narrative, so she blocked me. It wasn't even mean. I just, I just put it here. I just said, we're all primates. Put the link to the article and she blocked me. It's a pity I haven't got, uh, it's not an activity thing on Twitter, is there? I could show you the actual tweet. I can't show you the tweet because she's blocked me. Uh, so anyway, anyone go to Darcy's, go to Darcy's, look for Jonathan Panoff here, that's me, uh, just see what I wrote, if you, if you're interested, uh, actually I could probably, probably get into somebody else's Twitter and do it, but anyway, not, not for now, we were, uh, I didn't realise she blocked me, I thought we would be able to show the tweet, but, uh, Darcy got pretty triggered and, uh, blocked me, obviously, poor Darcy, poor Darcy the Muppet, so this is why Muppets, are a lower class of primates, aren't you? Aren't you, Gonzo? <laughs> Poor Gonzo. Ah, <laughs> uh, Gonzo. That's okay. Maybe one day you'll graduate to a primate with a uh, large, complex brain. But uh, you're a Muppet. <laughs> Muppet like Darcy. So there we go, guys. And uh, this isn't the first time that things got misconstrued. Um, I'll show you this here. This is in the New York Post. This was during the uh, 2017 Australian Open. It's got ESPN, ESPN uh, tennis analyst Doug Adler still paying for absurd racial accusation, racist accusation. So basically, I think it's uh, Venus, it was Venus Williams, wasn't it, Serena? Venus Williams playing the uh, Australian Open 2017. And... Uh, Mr. Adler, Doug Adler, was uh, complimenting her on her guerrilla tactics. And um, if you, I'll just highlight the word guerrilla here. See how it's spelled? G-U-E-R-I-L-L-A, not G-O-R-I-L-L-A. Guerrilla tactics. 
They were used in Vietnam. It means like, you know, very uh, clever tactics of warfare. So, because um, she was, she was uh, mixing it up, going to the net, you know, guerrilla tactics. So here we go. So it says that was the episode in which Adler complimented Venus Williams for her successful guerrilla tactics in poaching the net. Guerrilla style tennis has become such a regular spoken term that Nike started Andre Agassi and Pete Sam started Andre Agassi and Pete Sampras in a commercial playing guerrilla tennis. So it's it's fine to use the word guerrilla for white people, but not black. So that's that's really what it comes down to, doesn't it? which I think is absurd. It's just too sensitive. Just after Adler praised Williams' guerrilla tactics, uh, Ben Rothenberg, a freelancer covering for the New York Times, recklessly tweeted that Adler had just racially slurred her as a gorilla, adding, so this is, this is a gorilla. See my little gorilla? Cute as. But um, totally wrong. Gorillas don't have tactics. <laughs> I think gorillas are so big they just they don't need tactics. They just they're gorillas. They just grab what they want. You know what, what sort of tactics you need to? Uh, mo they mostly eat plants. So what sort of tactics would you need to uh, ambush a plant? <laughs> or just creep up on this tree. Okay, okay. So so this guy tweeted that Adler had just racially slurred her as a gorilla adding, it's horrifying that the Williams sisters have to be subjected to this in 2017. And of course, of course, I think he, he got, uh, he got uh, cancelled, didn't he? Let's have a bit of a read on. I haven't read this for quite a while, so I can't remember what happened. It was an absurd take. One ESPN should have ignored or led to telling Rothenberg to get lost, perhaps even demanding a retraction from the writer in times for defaming their man with a toxic claim. But that, but that tweet carried the digital signature of the New York Times, thus ESPN panicked like Chicken Little, figuring a published attack would be the next level to Adler and ESPN. ESPN fired him, so he actually got fired. As a B-team analyst, Adler was expended, expendable to be sacrificed, burned as a witch. So who wrote this? It sounds a bit like uh, Piers Morgan, doesn't it? Uh, Phil Mushnick. Phil Mushnick. Don't let uh, logic get in the way of a good story, hey? And no one, absolutely no one in the tennis world, including the race and gender justice-seeking Williams sisters and the ESPN A team that included Chris Everett and John Macri, nor those champs at Nike, defended Adler as the victim of a smear rooted in a conspicuously rotten guess. Exactly. All knew Adler had said nothing racist, that he was unconditionally innocent, but they let him burn as if unwilling to risk secondhand smoke. Hmm. So after nine consecutive uh, Aussie Open uh, gigs, Adler was thrown out, left to ask himself what the hell just happened. Exactly. <laughs> so there we go. I'll, I'll leave the links in the description. You have a good read of this. But, um, man... Because AI, basically AI, you know, Elon Musk is talking about AI. AI is going to rule the world. So it's going to be super intelligent. And I'm sort of thinking, well, what's, what's going to happen? You know, are, we going to, are we going to let AI decide what's uh, PC and what's not? I think so. AI is very logical. AI, AI saw, saw some humans, thought we want to uh, keep people watching, so we'll broaden broaden the humans from from human will broaden it out to primates so you know people to watch humans might want to watch primates as well you know and uh, that's why they suggested uh, the primate primate tag because uh, I'm pretty sure you can't uh, program it to be racist <laughs> and a, a neural network a lot of the, a lot of these computer scientists don't even know how these neural networks work anymore because they're getting so complex. So um, a neural network can't be racist, so they should have just let it slide. But Facebook, they capitulated, didn't they? They said, "Oh my God, we're we're so sorry. We're gonna we're gonna fix it. I I can't see how you're gonna fix it. You know, it's gonna it's gonna happen all the time. Uh, neural networks are just very very uh, what do you call it? Pragmatic. They'll just they'll just 
tell it how it is, you know. Yeah, of course, <laughs> what's going to give him a smack on the wrist to saying, say, don't ever say primate whenever there's a black person in the frame of view. Yeah, come on. It's going to, uh, there's, there's going to be, there's going to be something that's always going to pop up. So I, th I see this as a good thing because it just shows how ridiculous the left is, how a totally unbiased thing such as an AI, AI neural network didn't have any qualms saying primate, whereas we're all programmed to to be very, very careful about wording things. And we probably shouldn't be, you know, it's it's just the way it is. It's, we are classified as primates, that includes black people. So, you know, some of us don't get offended, some do. And what were they going to do? They're going to ask for reparations from the AI team at Facebook? <laughs> It's just it's just going to get ridiculous, isn't it? So I think Facebook Facebook just knee jerk reaction. We better shut this down and uh, appease the far left. And uh, as you can see, they can't take take much, can they? Because I got blocked. Poor Wall Street got blocked. Yeah. Oh well, that's what happens. Actually, notifications. Did I get anything? Uh, what happened there? Ah, somebody liked my reply. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got here. That's it. There we go. Well, that, that's what I wrote. That's what I wrote. Ah, oh, oh, look, look. Oh, you can see my post. Here we go. What's so offensive about this? Yeah, that's what I wrote. The AI got it right, actually. And I put humans are primates. Uh, got one like uh, before, <laughs> before Darcy got triggered and blocked me. And there we go. As simple as that. AI got it right, but um, it's it's not going to uh, it's not going to uh, um, progress their agenda, is it? By uh, having logic, so they've got to they've got to silence me and cancel me. But little did Darcy know that I've got a YouTube channel, and he couldn't silence me because I've got a voice. So there we go. Poor Darcy. Poor little Darcy. Cannot silence me. <laughs> Actually, uh, it was a pity. It's a pity I got blocked because I, I could have just uh, put a link of this video on her page so she could uh, get educated. But she would have she would have deleted it and blocked me anyway. So, what's the point? You know, I've learned. I've learned over the years. They don't, don't even bother trying to convince people. Uh, they've got a confirmation bias. They've, they're set in their ways. You can't convince them. You know, logic doesn't work. They'll, they'll find a way out of it, so just just don't even bother. So there we go, guys. I think I've chatted enough. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. You know, drill, like, subscribe, share, the usual. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching.